hello everyone in this video we're going to go through another example of how to form a box plot and we're also going to talk about certain characteristics and features of box plots to help you analyze box plots uh, a little bit better all right so let's go ahead and, and draw a box plot for this uh, data set here I have 11 numbers so the first thing that I would do is find the median or the middle number which in this case would be eight okay I have uh, five numbers to the left of eight and I have five numbers to the right of eight so this eight here in the middle is my median next I would find the median of the lower half of the values which is four so four would be my lower quartile and <coughs> my median of the upper half would be 10. So these five numbers, the middle number is 10. And so 10 is going to be my upper quartile. So these three values will form my box. I have eight for my median, uh, four for my lower quartile and 10 for my upper quartile. Next, we're just going to draw a whisker out to the smallest value and a, another whisker out to the largest value, which is 15. All right, so here we formed our box plot for, the, for this uh, set of data. Uh, one of the features that I do want to point out is that in each section of a box plot, each section contains about 25% of the values. Okay, so each section contains about 25%. So this lower whisker, this uh, portion of the box below the median or to the left of the median, this portion of the box to the right of the median, and this upper whisker all contain about 25% of the uh, values now certain parts are shorter than others and other parts are more spread out but each part still contains about three to four uh, values the reason why this whisker here is shorter than this whisker here is because there is a there's less of a difference in the values of this 25 percent from three to four there's only a difference of one value so that's why the uh, whisker is short over here and for our upper whisker the difference is five so the difference between the uh, largest value and our upper quartile is five so our whisker here is going to be longer than our whisker over here so uh, just knowing that can help you analyze uh, certain features of the uh, box plot and of the distribution so this upper 25 percent are more spread out or they vary more than the lower 25 percent okay so that's just uh like i said it's just another way to help you analyze the data i won't go into too much detail with it uh, another thing that i wanted to show you was uh, the inner quartile range uh, you may see a question that asks you to identify the inner quartile range and all the inner quartile ranges it's the difference between the upper quartile and the lower quartile it's basically the length of the box so 10 minus 4 upper quartile minus the lower quartile 10 minus 4 is 6 so our inner quartile range is 6 so <coughs> the regular range just range would be 15 minus 3 
but the inner quartile range we're just looking at the middle 50 percent okay so 10 minus 4. so this uh, value just tells you how does the uh, middle 50 percent of the values vary from one another one another okay so just it's just another way to measure variability all right and that's that i'm going to stop there i don't want to go uh too much further but i do hope that you got something out of this video that will help you be able to answer some questions correctly on your test all right thanks for watching